Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I, I'm still playing around with some of my tea bags because I still have quite a lot. <laughs> and in the first video, um, when I said I was embossing on them, I was using the powder to emboss like that. And then Crafty Mummy 56 thought that I was using the embossing folders. Um, and then I got another comment from Deb Sutcliffe. And I thought I'd come on and have a go and just see if you can do it because I'm kind of like in still in that experimental mode, aren't I? <laughs> yes. Uh, so what I've done... Um, I'll do it both ways. I'll get out another one. This tea bag here I've put a piece of cardboard in and I'm going to use this embossing folder. So I'm just going to put that in there like that. I'm not sure if this is going to work, whether the embossing on this is actually um, is actually going to work or not. But I'm going to do it anyway and try because I thought, oh, that would be so cool. So just don't mind my plates, guys, because they're pretty old. I have to get some new ones. So I just run mine back through this way because I haven't got much room to work. Okay, so let's have a look at that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. So I'll just um, take the cardboard out. Um, actually, I might just leave that cardboard in there and just grab my inks and just um, gently go over that so that you can see it a little bit better. I'll just just to so that you can see some of those those raised marks. Oh that does look cool. So I left the cardboard in there just to go over them. You can see that's so much better. Now I'll take the cardboard out. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. So there's that one there. Now I'll do one without the cardboard, but I'll do a different... Um, I just grabbed out a couple. I don't. That's too big. I think maybe just on the the border, on the top of the bottom. No, I'll put it through this other one. I'll put it through this one and see how we go. If I can open it, okay. Right. So the first one had a, the piece of cardboard in the centre of it, and this one doesn't have the cardboard. Alright, and we'll go back. my goodness. So what I might do with this one, because I do want to open it a little bit, oh, I'll just put a bit of ink on it first, just so I can catch some, I better not do it on there, I'll grab a piece of paper. <laughs> Oh, that 
that's so cool. I actually didn't think it would take with the embossing folders, but it does. You just have to be a bit gentle when you're rubbing. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I'll show you up a bit closer. So what I'd do with this one, because the front and the back have been embossed together, you do have to open it. Okay, so that's the back there. And that's the front. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, so it works with, um, and that's the other one there. Oh, that looks so cool. And then you can just, um, you could use that for just the background. And, um, and then just decorate it up. Okay, so I'm going to grab another, okay, I'll just grab out another couple. Because this is, um, this is so cool. <laughs> So I've got two more tea bags here. So I'm going to put this one in here. Just like that. Okay, so it works it works extremely well without the cardboard. Um, it works about the same with a card, piece of cardboard in the center and no cardboard in the center. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put some ink on that one too. I'm just trying to go lightly over the top of it. I think I went, got a little bit heavy handed on that one there. That's okay. Just experimenting. Yeah, that's cool. So there's that one there. That looks so cool, and you can feel the um, the raised um, lines on it, the raised pattern. That is so cool. Right, I'm going to do one more, only because I think it's so cool. <laughs> um, what do I do with the last tea bag? This one here is a numbers one embossing folder. So put that on there. Right, and we'll run this one through. awesome. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this and then I've got this numbers one here. So I'll just come in a bit. Okay. 
I honestly didn't think that it was going to take. I don't know why. I just thought that um, it had pressed back in. But it doesn't. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so, and there's the number one. I'll open it up. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I like those. I like those a lot. Okay, so, yeah, you can. You can use your embossing folders on them as well. Thanks for the suggestion, ladies. They are so cool. Okay, so I can um, use those in a future vintage journal that I might want to do, just as little pockets. That's the back. Oh, they just feel so nice. This one here, um, this one turned out really well. That had um, the cardboard in it, didn't it? Yeah, that had the cardboard in it. Um, this one feels really firm with the cardboard and the others the others feel you can feel the raised um, marks on them but it doesn't feel as it might be just that pattern I think okay but that's it guys okay so yay another successful experiment <laughs> I'm going well aren't I <laughs> That's it. You all have a great day. I'll and decorate those thank up you. later today with something. Maybe, I don't know, a little bird on a wire or something. Okay. <laughs> you all have a great day and I will... Oh, but thank you. Thank you once again, ladies, for that suggestion. And it does work. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Alright, you all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.